Was it your mother? You're getting closer. Your grandma? Yes, the young lady was my grandmother when she was just a teenager. So did she tell you this story? Yes, just like I'm telling you now. Cool! So this young lady helped take care of the family's young son, so she spent most of her time in the nursery. Back then, the nursery wasn't just a place for babies to go buy plants. It was a place where children spent most of their time. They'd say children should be seen and should not be heard. So Ellen spent most of her time in the nursery, tidying up and helping Nanny take care of Theodore, the little boy. Hey, I'm sure your rabbit is excited to see all the new things. Oh, look, Bunny. There's a tree, some flowers, and a blackberry bush. Did you say here? My Ellen, I can pick some. It's wonderful to have more to play with me all the time. Why, what's this? Why don't you come play with us? Um, I don't feel like it. Come on, let's all jump. <coughs> no thanks, I'll just sit here. I don't believe you can jump. No, she can't jump. She had a fun day. Imagine Robert. No hand legs. How do you jump or hop or dance on hand legs? Wait, what do you know? You're not a real rabbit at all. Yes, I am. The boy said I was. No question. It's a bad case of scarlet fever. We must make sure no one is exposed to the children had it. It's very contagious. I know the mister and mistress have both had it. And I had it when I was little too. It was dreadful. Poor Theodore. Oh dear, oh dear. I can't remember whether I've had scarlet fever or not. Oh dear, what shall we do? That dear rabbit has reigned so patiently. I bet she's content knowing that she's a comfort to poor Theodore. You know I'm so sick with you, but he doesn't even know what he is or who we are. Still, he cuddles his precious rabbit. Looks like the day has passed. You are no longer contagious. Are you sure it's safe? Oh dear, oh dear. Are you sure I won't catch anything? No, of course not. As long as you don't touch any of his bedclothes or anything he touches while he's ill, we should all be burnt to make sure that the disease does not spread. Cut, Theodore! Your parents are going to take you to the seashore to get your strength back. Oh, good! But I won't like the seashore. Oh, no, you mustn't take that Jeremy Rabbit. Burn it with the sheets and blankets. Oh. No, just give her a quick wash of the shelling line! Theodore, you've been very sick, and those dreadful shirts can't be washed off. You wouldn't be able to be as sick as you 